Uh, and this script may also include the um, the buy purchase coins. Uh, so when a user taps on get 500 coins or whatever, then it'll, it'll, it'll handle that with say the Google Play in-app billing API or it'll handle it with the uh, uh, the Amazon in-app purchases or the iTunes in-app purchases. So, but let me know if you, if you want me to go into more detail on that a little bit, then, you know, please drop a comment. So um, I also did include AdMob and also TapJoy as well. Uh, I'll try to show you those a little bit in a, a little bit in more detail later. Uh, but the reason I've got AdMob and I, I can't show you right now on my device, I'm sorry. But AdMob ads appear in this top left corner of the screen up here uh, throughout the game. But it's far enough away from the buttons that it's not you won't tap on it or anything like that, or it, it won't cover up anything that's important. So that's why I got AdMob in the game quite early in this stage, is because I wanted to test how that works. Uh, and if it affects anything heavily, but so far it's it's not been a problem and it works well. And uh, TapJoy, so TapJoy.com, uh, guys uh, and girls out there who don't know uh, what TapJoy.com is, there it's basically an offer wall where you can make. Uh, for us, if I put offer wall in the game, it means I make revenue and our players can get free coins. Um, and then the people who want to advertise their game in the offer wall can also do that as well. So the way it works is in our game, if you if you tap get free coins, then this off wall will appear. And what you do is you get a list of games or a list of actions and it might say, hey, like this page on Facebook for 500 coins or download this game for 1,000 coins. So, and then once the player does the action, they will receive the free coins. So it's a very cool way to make revenue for uh, developers out there who, um, uh, when you've got lots of players who aren't actually paying any real money, so we use TapJoy in a few games now, and it's great. It's, it works really well. Uh, it works better on Android than it does on iPhone because iPhone clamped down, uh, Apple clamped down on using offer walls. But I definitely recommend it. Check out TapJoy.com, and it's it's fairly easy to integrate. If anybody's interested in that aspect of things, then obviously you know drop a comment, let me know as well, and I'll try and explain a little bit more about that uh, in a separate video. So. All right, so answers from the previous video, which was part three, I believe. Um, I'm trying to find out the ones which... I tried to look before to find out the ones which I had already answered, uh, and which ones I didn't answer. Um, so, anyway, let me go from this one here. So, Geeky, Geeky Me 97 good to hear from you again. I, I know you commented a, a while ago. So, um, it seems quite neat, though. The please don't comment on gender and age in gaming again. Uh, you lose a lot of audience uh, and potential customers by saying that certain age groups or genders aren't as good as others. Don't even mention it. Uh, whether you're not replied to this, keep it in mind. Uh, I partly agree and I partly don't agree. Uh, I think I think you know. Uh, yeah, of course, don't don't segment audiences in that way. Uh, you know, don't don't uh, uh, don't just target one particular audience. Uh, but uh, to 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 be honest, uh, I don't think I would lose a lot of audience. Just by saying possibly that gamers, uh, guy gamers are better than girl gamers. I think it depends. Uh, sorry, let me turn that off. I, I think it really depends on what type of game it is, and and I don't know any statistics on gamers or or you know between gender who's better, who's not better. Uh, but you know, thanks for the point anyway. So, uh, Dow Dow Two fanboy, awesome vid, thanks, dude. You're welcome. Thank you, Dow. Always good to hear them. Always always nice to have these comments. Uh, I hope you enjoy the. The ones that are coming along next, including the F-Zero one here, guys. I did an F-Zero gameplay video. Uh, there's part two up there, and it links to part one as well. But check out my channel. You can see that. All right. Um, get Bix. Uh, I don't know if I'd answered this one already. Just let me read this one. Uh, one more thing I'd like to say is that kind of background. Kind of background which you have given your previous games, like Ninja Bizet, they're very good, but it can kind of distract from the game. Um, yeah. How you see? Uh, maybe a video, so there's some suggestions, or maybe a plain old uh, paper crush texture image background. Yeah, um, it's, it's a good point. So uh, thank you for that. You know, yeah, I, I, the background in the game is something that I'm thinking about and, and trying to figure out how to do it. I had some ideas. One would be to have just a plain background, just blue, and then that's it, or whatever color. Um, the advantages are that, one, it will make the game run very smoothly. Two, it looks old school, as in like 4-bit, 2-bit era. Uh, three, that it will run very fast on even older devices. So I'm testing right now on a Google Nexus One, quite an old device, 
and I want that to run really smooth. So that's that's uh, that's something that I'm interested in. Uh, the paper crush thing, yeah, like a doodle style, uh, like doodle jump where they've got that kind of crushed line paper and it, and it looks like a doodle game. Uh, possibly, yeah, that, that sounds like it, it, it could be an idea, um, uh, the doodle style. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm curious what people think about this. If anybody's watching the video, uh, please drop a suggestion. Uh, you know, the, the, the consideration that I have to have is, uh, the, sorry, the disadvantages before I go on. The, the big disadvantage of just including a plain background is that the game will also look quite plain, uh, especially on the screenshots. But the screenshots can be jazzed up, of course. I can make the screenshots look more interesting with some characters or, or sort of blood splats or something. So the game looks interesting. Uh, when people download the game, it might look boring as well. Uh, they might just see a plain blue background and then think, oh, this isn't very good. Um, but the game can be updated, of course, to include these extra backgrounds and include uh, new elements as I go along. Uh, the consideration is, though, is time um, uh, for me. Uh, basically, because I'm doing the artwork in this game, is can I do the artwork, you know, within a sort of a one-year period and actually get a decent uh, platformer game released? So I'm sort of thinking of going with the plain background right now with maybe some particle effects. Um, but I'm curious. I'm interested to know what what everyone else thinks. But uh, get bits. Thank you. Thank you for the comment. Uh, very cool. Uh, Jigness. Okay. So hey, it's Jigness. And if this is a new app you're going to release, it looks great, and I can't wait to play it and review it for you. Awesome, dude. Jake, thank you so much, and thank you for the uh, the other video reviews you've done of of, uh, of our other games. Uh, it's very cool. Check out Jakeness's channel. He does some very cool mobile game review videos. Anybody who's watching. Um, and I've put a link to his channel and my channel as well. Uh, anybody else who does a review video of one of our games um, on iPhone or Android, like, please let me know because I'll give you a shout out and add your game video link to the game description and share it on Facebook as well. Uh, but awesome, thank you so much, Jake. Uh, next one, oh yeah, and I don't know. Um, I've said this before, not really trying to the profile picture. Uh, the person that people say, yeah, I need to update my channel. Um, uh, you're right, I do need to add in a a profile picture of some kind on my on my channel. The the channel at the moment is very very plain, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. So thank you for the suggestion for sure. Um, hopefully, when I've got a bit more time, I'll jazz it up a little bit, some more interesting backgrounds and things. Um, so why are you using? So this is a geeky me nine seven again. Uh, why are you using a 3D mesh for walls or floors? Uh, you just need one face of 2D wasted performance of render uh, the other five faces. That's true, yeah, you, you're actually right. I should be using just a flat plane geo as opposed to a 3D geometry uh, because uh, as Geeky said what it is in, in, a, in, a, in a game engine, if you've got a, a 3D object that has more sides to it than a flat 2D object obviously uh, and with a 3D object it has to render more triangles, it has to get them into the scene faster. Uh, sorry, it has it has it has more processing to do in order to render the scene. Um, but I think um, for this one, because I was just throwing in geometry around, um, it, and because the game is kind of like uh, very low GPU requirements anyway, it doesn't require a lot of fast processing. I think it's um, uh, it's not a big problem. So, but yeah, you're right, totally right, and it's a good suggestion. All right, next video, next video response. So 